former Connecticut Sun coach Mike Tebow. Wow, Mike Tebow, it's certainly a name that will not be forgotten around here in women's basketball professional ranks. Uh, the Connecticut Sun, it, to me, is underappreciated, Casey. Their team is 41-74 and 74 since Coach Tebow had been dismissed. I mean, there's a guy you're talking about. 200 wins in 10 seasons, average 20 seasons a year, 20 wins a year, two trips to the finals, and it just seems like the, the program has struggled to find the right mix since he's been dismissed. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's underappreciated or overrated. I think what it is is apathetic. Around here, the, the people just don't seem to care like they used to, and part of it is because you mentioned two finals, didn't win either of them, and so the current regime can't win championships. He couldn't win championships. Those regular season wins are great, but at the end of the day, the Connecticut Sun looks up and Connecticut expects championships. There's Gino Oriema's legacy to the Connecticut Sun. The people of Connecticut expect championships. Well, we're comparing the Connecticut Sun to the UConn women team. You, you, I mean, what does the Mohegan Sun, what do the Connecticut Sun want out of their basketball team? Do they want a novelty act where they fill the arena when Brianna Stewart comes in there? Or do they want a winning pedigree team that the state can be proud of. But it doesn't really matter what they want because what's going to happen is the people of Connecticut are only interested in going and seeing the Connecticut UConn players. They could care less if, you know, Griner or, 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 you know, someone comes in from another team. They're all about UConn. They should just draft all the UConn players and be done with it. All right. 